health science presentation is appropriate for children of all ages. You might also be curious about the curly tube you see attached to the baby's tummy. It's called the umbilical cord. You had one of these until you were born. You can tell this because you have a belly button. That's all that's left of the umbilical cord now, but it was very important for the first nine months of your life. This cord connected you to your mother's body through another organ called the placenta. An organ is a body part that has a special purpose. A placenta is the organ through which the mother puts food and oxygen into the baby and takes the baby's waste products away. Waste products are things the baby no longer needs. The umbilical cord brings food from the placenta so the baby can grow, oxygen so it can breathe, and even antibodies to make it immune from some diseases. Immunity is the way the body protects itself from diseases. If you look closely, you can see three blood vessels inside the cord. The cord grows so quickly that it can eventually measure two to three feet in length. Babies sometimes have a cord twisted around themselves or even hold it in their hand. Here's a baby who is eight weeks old. By now, his fingers and toes are easy to see and he can begin to move them. Look at this baby's fingers and toes. There is always something important happening in the early weeks of the baby's growth. The brain, spinal cord and nerves have been quickly forming for several weeks now. No one can say for sure what a baby can feel inside his mother's womb, but we can watch the baby's growth and reactions. Parts of the brain and nerves, which are necessary to feel pain, develop between about the 8th and 13th week of the baby's growth. Pricking a 9 to 10 week fetus with a needle causes the baby's brain activity to change in ways similar to the changes which happen when an adult feels pain.